Good evening boys and girls, we're back again. I'm going to uh, set up a CF card in my Amiga 600. As you can see it's running on the Vampire Amiga. Um, so I've just plugged in, what have I just plugged in? A SanDisk Ultra 2 Compact Flash, compact flash 15 megabyte a second 8 gig. And um, Excuse me, phone's buzzing. Uh, yeah. So, what I've got here is uh, a standard workbench install disk. I've added to it in a very haphazard fashion, it seems. So, what do we have? We have show config, which uh, should show the config. We have sysinfo, because quite often I'll need occasionally a floppy disk just to test speeds of things. If I'm doing a quick test of accelerators or RAM or whatever. Um, so it's nice to have a workbench disk that will boot and give me sysinfo. This is uh, the patched one, so it will run on a, a vampire with no issues. So that's that. So we can either use HD tools or HD toolbox. Doesn't really matter which. They're both set up for uh, SCSI dot device, which in this instance is uh, allocated to the IDE. So we've got two drives there from from some other period in time. Sometimes, ah, sometimes it says. This is not a Type 7, okay, which basically means it can't read the information off it. So it's a manufacturer, it's a sand, oh shit, it's a sand disk. It's a drive name, I don't know, CF, drive revision, I don't know, 1. Point. Oh. Okay. Might moan, yeah. Might moan that my disk drive is protected, so I'll knock the tab down. We'll try again. Oh, okay. And that's the one. So okay. It says SCSI, but it's actually reading really ID. Um, so we'll partition it. It's an eight gigabyte card. Um, the Amiga doesn't like in standard form anyway, it doesn't like to read partitions larger than 2 gigabyte. If you do put them larger than 2, you may experience data corruption, files disappearing, and all kinds of gremlins. So keep it below 2000. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Delete that one. Okay. We'll have a new one of, yeah, if you like. We'll have a new one of... Something like that. And that yeah, nineteen eighty five. Okay. So this one is change me. We we'll want that to be bootable. I don't want it to be change me. Let's have D H O. You can be D H one. You can be a D H two. And you can be guess what kids? A D, a H, a 3, a D, a H, a 3. Okay. We want no drives to be bootable. We're using the standard Amiga fast file system. So we'll say OK. Uh, we'll save changes to drive. It should say, when you say exit, you need to reboot your machine. Alright, didn't say that. So we'll reboot the machine. As usual, I'm drinking tea in these exciting times. <coughs> so, excuse me. Drive's crunching away. Floppy drive, that is. <laughs> so, you should see install 2.1 uh, and then a load of nonsense should come up on screen after a few seconds. There we go. 
So DHO is our system disk, so we'll format that somehow. There we go, format. Fast file system, I don't want a trash can particularly, it's a pain in the iris. Let's call it system. With a capital S, system. Oh shit. System, the full version of a quick format. Pew, pew, bing, next disk. So that's system. This can be work, I suppose. Uh, this can be work. This might end up being my disk that I use. Pew. This can be, this can be, this can be, what, games I suppose? And the last one we'll call it, pff, I don't know, music and demos, just demos I suppose. Okie dokie, so we'll reboot again and see if these all come back in their correct uh, in with their correct names and things. They should, but you never know. I must have done this. Oh my god. A hundred times over the years. <coughs> Only in the last few years with CF cars, mind you. Okay, so we've got system, work, blah de blah de blah, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the PC, I'm going to fire up uh, WinUAE and copy the system files that I backed up earlier from my card onto the system disk here. And then stick it back in the piece and stick it back in the Amiga and see what happens. So I should be back in just a moment. See you in a bit. So I've just copied all the files over from my Amiga system disk or image on the Amiga, uh, the WinUE emulator. But I'll show you what I did. I wasn't going to, but I will because I no doubt someone will ask, so we'll quit this. Yeah, we'll quit it, and now we'll start again. I'll not copy them all over, but we'll start again. No ROMs, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a few configurations of systems I use. The only difference being I need to add my hard drive, which is the 8 gig CF I've just plugged in. Uh, anyway. So that is a drive I used before. I have my Amiga system disk on the desktop and it's an HDF file <clears throat> which is a clone of one of my CFs which uh, is the Vampire CF. So all the Picasso 96 setup, everything's on there and I saved it as a... Um, well actually all I did was copy all the files over. I didn't actually save it as a HDF I don't think. But whatever that is, that drive there, we'll get rid of that. We'll add my hard drive, or my CF 8 gigabytes sand disk, so it will be RDB 7.6 gig generic CF1. Okay, add that. And if we start, I think it's set up as, um, I don't think it's set up as an ECS with 8 gig of RAM or something. Intuition can't open Picasso, that's alright. So, all this nonsense, what this is, is that's my Amiga system. That is all my folder from a previous CF card that I've dragged over onto the Windows desktop. You're not supposed to do it like that. But for some reason it wouldn't let me create an, a HDF hard file copy for some reason. Don't know why. Um, so there should be another system on here somewhere. There we go. Picture of a disk. And that is the blank CF that we've just set up on the Amiga. That was empty. And it said 1.9 uh, 
megabyte free or something. Uh, 1,900 megabyte free. So it's 8% full because I've just copied that into there. Obviously not the folder, but the contents of the folder. Keep your finger on shift. So what you do is, this is my CF on the Windows uh, hard drive. I would right click, did I? Draw, window, select contents. I keep my finger on shift and drag them all into the blank folder or the blank drawer on the SanDisk SCF I've just plugged in. And that is it. Once it's copied it all over, it'll take 10 minutes or so, there or thereabouts. Um, I need to press function on this because F12 is Wi Fi disconnect. So we'll quit that. We'll plug it into the Amiga and we'll see if it works. Should do, but we'll see. Something's happening. The lights are flashing, things are happening. So the SCART, if it's working properly, the SCART should go a bright white colour on screen after it reboots twice. Copies the ROM to RAM. The screen should go white because we're picking up SCART. Okay, well, well grey, not white. So if I press the output button to HDMI. We have a clone of, oh, looking at the wrong screen. My monitor's gone to sleep. Come on, I'm not that slow. So we have a clone of my hard drive. We don't have the pretty girl with boobs, which is a little bit disappointing. I don't know where she has gone. Let's quickly sort that out. Uh, Scalos for pattern. No, not pattern. Skaloski. Skalos. It is pattern. What did I press? New pattern. Let's find it. Not in pattern anyway, it's in. Um oh, it's a. Yeah. Tit. It's a blank disc, there's nothing in there, is it? God, you're an idiot sometimes. I'm thinking, why is it not putting the picture on? Don't matter, I'll do it in a minute. Okay, so we have now got a blank, brand new, fresh drive. So my system should have, look at that, loads free. These will all be empty, or should be. All empty, 2 gb free. So there's loads of room. So what I'm going to do is this will now become my sole drive and I shall fill this up with software and various other stuff as time goes on as I usually do uh, the hard drive light came on when I said snapshot so perhaps it is working so if I get a sand disk into look at that bloody mess god it annoys me clean up will you we draw clean up. So if I copy a doom to games, for example, we'll put that in there. Got an itch. Doom two, wow, that's a big file. We'll um, we'll do a speed test on the hard drive on the CF with a poke in a moment or two. In fact, I'll just slip the cover on the Amiga as we're talking, you know, casually. Everything's in the way, my cup's in the way, there's a disc hanging out. Okay, it's all, all chaos. Go on, snapshot. Why won't you snapshot? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so, on here we have this info for the vampire. So we'll copy that over to work, because I like to have that handy. Not that bothers pictures, so I can have a pretty girl. I've got a pretty girl on your workbench. That is um, it's compulsory, actually. There, It is written into a bylaw in England that you have to have a pretty girl on an Amiga workbench. You know, not my personal preference, but there you go. you got to do what you got to do. Pictures. 
So we'll have that in work. We'll look at a few pictures. Mini bench. Now my um, my own particular libs and ix mull libs and all kinds of stuff I've been messing about with over the years. Um, so I've buggered it right up. But some things that should work don't work, and things that don't shouldn't work do work. So it's all a bit chaosy. That. If we look in my da 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 da, da work into oh shit pictures. Charlotte McKinney. I don't know that one. Save. I'll reboot that. Can I reboot that? Why well, let me reboot? Why won't you reboot? Oh, let's join the picture. It's doing something. Oh, that's a very large picture, Mr. Omega. Perhaps just a little bit too big. Perhaps. So we don't want that one, McKinney. Which one was that? Let's try that one. Ah, oh, there we go. Lovely. Splendid, 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 splendid. Right, so if we run... Let's do some testing. Uh, no, I don't know what I'm doing there. What are you doing? I need a poke, don't I? Don't I? So, a poke. Where art thou, a poke? Never find that in a million years. Sort. When you lot got good eyesight, mine isn't knackered. A poke, a poke, a poke, a poke. Be down there somewhere. Sysinfo, mini bench. Mini a poke LHA. Is it up here in a folder? A. Is it Dell? Alright. Uh, a poke. So I'll extract that, extract all to, let's say work, okay. Is it going to scatter them all over work now, is it, I suppose? Yes, yeah, of course it is. So we'll have a new folder, a <coughs> uh, new draw rather, in the meager language, a poke. Can't, because that already, ex already exists, that does. Bloody thing. Uh, poke. Uh, tit. All kinds of things happen then. I'm not sure what happened. As far as the dot in front of it are um, Mac files. View, redraw, update. So we can get rid of those two. Okay. Okie dokie. A poke. So if I run A poke, where's my piece of paper? Cause I, I bet I can't remember. Let's have a go. A poke. Dollar uh, DD ten twenty two. Dollar, oh, shit. Dollar, eighty-eight. Oh, I don't know. Where's my piece of paper? I can't remember that far back. Oh, Russell, 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 Russell. Bits of paper, bits of paper. Okay, bits of paper. So, what speed were we getting before? Standard was two nine. On the one point five drive, we had three seven. Okay. We had three port, three four on the PFS uh, CF card as well. So let's try. How far close did I get? Dollar DD ten twenty. Oh yeah, it's spot on. It's the numbers I forgot. Eight seven eight eight. Poked at. Cool. So now we can run this. We can run that. We can run that. Switch back over to RGB. 
Now let's see what a sand disc can do. Three, two, seven, six, eight hundred. So that's well. But that's as fast as it can go. So that's quite a bit slower than the um, Fuji card, but the Fuji card is only one gig, I suppose. Oh no, hang on, what was he, what were you reading then? Yeah, I bet you were reading CF, weren't you? Yes, you were. <laughs> DFO, not DFO, you tit, DHO. There we go, 4 2, look at that, baby, go! Fantastic, so this is Sandisk. That's a Sandisk 2, and that's a 4 2 7 4. 086. That is the fastest I personally have ever seen. So 8788 eight gives you about 4 megabytes a second, which it does. So that's flipping marvellous. Flipping great. So that's the result, kids. So let's see what else we can do before it all goes tits up. A poke, dollar, DD. Uh, ten, twenty, two, dollar, um, eight, seven, five, four. This sh apparently, according to Gunner, is uh, will be about the limit of what the six hundred can achieve. So let's see what that does. See if it crashes the system. Drives DHO. Four two seven zero eight six. All right, that's okay. So that's obviously as fast as the of this particular card can go. Don't change, does it? Oh, four two nine seven. All right. All right. So four two nine seven. That's four point three megabytes thing. That is pretty fast, really. Four, two, nine, seven, four, four, two. Well, I'm more than happy with that. That is um, pretty damn quick. So what I think I'll do is I'll uh, add that. Well, I'll, I'll just keep playing with this for a moment, but I will add that to. Um, the startup sequence at some point and see how it goes. What I'm going to do now is copy some files over from the um, external CF card, the PCMCIA, uh, into Workbench, into the games and the work folder, copy files over and just make sure everything works tickety-boo. I should, should think it will. Everything seems good. Okay kids, thank you very much. Oh, that's not been too boring. I'll see you next time. See ya. And so to sleep again As if I'll ever sleep